Barely a week after three commissioners, Connie Miner, Paul Kurgat and Margaret Monchama, were locked out of their offices at the anniversary towers, two lobby groups have moved to court to challenge their ejection. In a case filed by international human rights defenders and Carewell Society, the lobby groups want IBC Chair Wafula Chibukati compelled to allow the three commissioners back to office pending the hearing and determination of the case. They argue that the three commissioners enjoy a six years term in office in accordance with the constitution, saying the decision by Chibukati to bar them from accessing their offices is unreasonable and in excess of powers granted by law. According to the lobby groups, the IBC chair acted in favor of personal interest in ejecting the commissioners, knowing well that he is not their employer. Meanwhile, a suspect linked to the attempted murder of former Garissa finance executive Idris Mukhtar has been ruined in court. Mohamed Hussein Aden, who was being held at the Gigiri police station, claims to have been tortured and coerced in a bid to make him sign confessions regarding the alleged murder. High Court Deputy Registrar Faith Muguongo directed that the suspect be taken to Kenyatta National Hospital for medical checkup, hired of interparty hearing slated for 6th September 2018. Adding appearance in court comes a week after David Moy, who was the key suspect in the shooting, died in an unclear circumstance inside a cell at Parkland's police station. And he is hereby referred to the Chief Justice. And the High Court has directed Chief Justice David Maraga to constitute a bench to determine a case seeking the validity of the title deed belonging to the controversial Ruaraka land. Justice Bernard de Bosso ruled that the issues raised in the case are weighty and complex in nature and requires an uneven number of judges to hear and determine the matter. In the case, the National Land Commission had sought the court's intervention to determine whether Ruaraka High School and Drive-In Primary School sit on public land or private land. Ben Chumba reporting for Scales of Justice.